Uh, now what I'm going to do is define another array and this is going to be called allowed underscore extensions or I've shortened it to ext and this is going to be an array and this time we are going to put some values in here so the first one I'm going to do jpg uh, and then I'm going to do jpeg and remember we're separating these with a comma um, and then I'm going to do let's say png and gif okay so these are a list of the uh, allowed extensions you want now you probably noticed that earlier when I had oh no we need to go over to our browser when I had um, these examples up we've got capital JPG and small PNG now whether the user uploads um, an extension that has a capital J JPG or, or another capital extension we're going to be using another function str to lower to lower um, the to lower the value of the file extension so it matches these so you don't really need to go ahead and do JPG and JPEG uh, essentially you're just wasting uh, elements in your array or you know you're wasting uh, your data so we have an allowed extension array now what we need to do is pinpoint the specific data that we need from this array here this files array so we've already uh, used this to check if the general array has been set now what we need to do is pick out specific bits of information and that is going to be file name and that's going to equal something file extension and that's going to equal something and we get the file extension obviously from the file name so with this it's just going to be a reference of this and we're gonna oh, well, I'm gonna show you how to get the extension from the file uh, we also need to check the file size and we also need the file temporary location okay so for the file name we do dollar underscore files and then we have image remember we're referencing it from the uh, array that we echoed out earlier but then what we need to do is add two more brackets and in here we need to say name because this is um, a value that corresponds to the name like earlier when we uh, did this you can see that we've got name here and that will be coconut.png or whatever the file name you're uploading is okay so that's how that works um, the file extension we're going to come to a bit later um, the file size we're essentially just replicating this so we can even copy and paste that down uh, to save ourselves a bit of time and we just put size in there so remember if you're unsure of these vari variables uh, as I showed earlier you can use the print r and then dollar underscore files and what that will do is it will just give you this out and you can check each individual um, each individual key of this array so we've got name type TMP name so this is the one that a lot of people tend to forget it's TMP underscore name not TEMP underscore name so you can always uh, do this here to check that okay so now um, the file temp that is dollar underscore well we can paste that in and remember it's TMP underscore name okay so if you're finding any errors you might have accidentally put an extra E in there or something like that okay so the file extension this is really important we need to determine the extension of the file in order to say you know does it equal any of these uh, if we were to uploading a P if we're uploading a PHP file um, you may have uh, you know PHP there okay so we're going to use another function later on to check that against these so if it doesn't match any of these we're not going to let the user upload the file okay so how do we go ahead about getting .ph, uh, well PHP or JPG or JPEG well we need to use the explode function in uh, PHP and what this does is it takes a, um, a value here which is going to be dot in our case and it explodes the, uh, the string into um, into an array um, so what we basically need to do is we need to separate this with the file name so what we can do just to test this out is um, we can come down and we can echo file or no we can't we can print r file ext and remember print r is going to give us a, a textual representation of an array and now that we've exploded this file name it will be an array of each element of the file now if for example it was coconut.png the two elements that were returned are coconut and png so we can then use another function which I'll talk about in a moment just to grab the last bit of this which is 
well, which is PNG, the dot won't exist because we've uh, delimited it by the dot here. Okay, so let's do this. Let's uh, upload a file again and check what happens. So click upload. Uh, you can see that we've got an array now. The first key, so key zero, is coconut, and the second key, which is key one, is PNG. So we now need a way to grab this value here on its own, because as it stands, we can't actually compare an array to a specific value. We need to grab this value here. And we do this in PHP using the end function. So the file extension, we can now wrap in this end function. And what, what this end function is going to do is it's going to take the last element of the array, i.e. PNG, because this is the first element, this is the last element. So let's go ahead and re-upload a file. Uh, click upload and you can see now we just get PNG back because now this uh, end has been converted from an array to a string. We've grabbed the last element in the array and converted it back to a string. So now that we've done that, let's just test it with a few other files. So .jpg. Now you can see we've got JPG and then again with PHP upload and you can see we've got PHP. So ensure you test this before you do anything else because as long as you've got this bit right then we can perform the correct checks uh, and ensure that the uh, file um, is is uh, acceptable to upload. Now there is one problem um, I've purposely included um, a file with .jpg but in capitals. Now if you go ahead and look at our array we don't have JPG in capitals. As I mentioned earlier it would be a waste of space to to repeat yourself in the array. So what we're going to do is we're going to wrap this function, well these two functions, again in str to lower. So it's basically string to lowercase. Remember the brackets, we're surrounding this whole thing here in brackets. Uh, and what that's going to do is whatever the file extension is, it's going to convert the whole thing to lowercase. So if we were to choose coconut.png, you can see that the PNG is small because it is um, already small in the file extension. However, if we were to go and choose this one with a capital.jpg, you can see that we upload and then we always get a lowercase returned. Therefore, we can, com we can compare this to this and regardless of the capitalization of the uh, extension, it's always going to be the same and we can make the comparison. So hopefully that makes sense. We can remove that now. Okay, let's pull that up a bit. Now, now we need to do our checks. So we first of all need to check that the file extension is um, allowed. So we can say if, we've created an if statement with a condition and then a block. So we're going to say if, and we're going to use a function called in underscore array. And this is going to take two parameters. The first parameter is the string that you're looking for. Um, and the second parameter is the array that you want to look for the string in. So if you um, have already worked out, we need to look for the file extension in the allowed extension array. So we can just type in file extension and allowed extension. Okay, so this is checking for the current file extension of the file that's been uploaded and comparing it to all the values in this array here. So if it was PHP, file extension would be PHP. Now if in array file extension and this was PHP and allowed extension does not contain PHP, this uh, whole statement here would return false. So what we can do is we can say doesn't equal false at the end. You don't need to do this, um, but you, uh, you know, it's, it's good practice too, I guess. Oh, sorry, actually, what we do need is um, rather than not equals, sorry, that's just my logic, we need a triple equals. Uh, that, this is just going to check that the array has returned false. So if it has returned false, the uh, extension does not exist. Therefore, we, it's not one that we've defined to be up loud, uh, allowed. So I'm going to bring my errors array that I created earlier into play. And I, remember, it's an array, so we need uh, square brackets. And that's going to equal... Um, extension not allowed okay so pretty simple and later on if we do the same thing as this say down here but change the condition we can actually then keep track of errors because all this is doing is adding an extra element to the array